Now in PCA, if a multivariate data set is visualized as a set of coordinates in a high dimensional data space with one axis per variable, for example in face recognition, that multivariate data set would be a set of images. You see, uh, a training set of uh, consisting of total M images like we have over here and each of these images is going to be of n by n dimensions. So that means that there will be total of n square dimensions or n square, uh, n square pixels. So such a multivariate data set, when it's visualized as, uh, as a set of coordinates in a high dimensional data space, then PCA can supply the user with a low dimensional picture that is a shadow of this object when viewed from its, in some sense, most informative viewpoint. So, when PCA transforms this tra uh, training set of images, the database of images, it converts, it transforms it into a lower dimensional picture, which is something like this. Now, these are just to uh, just beforehand. I'll just tell you that these are the features. Uh, in th this data set has been split into features. This is a low dimensional picture of this data set. Now what is PCA and its relation to face recognition? I will be taking uh, PCA, Principal Component Analysis, and face recognition together in parallel. So I'll tell you about what is PCA and I'll also relate it to face recognition so that you understand it better. Now by definition, Principal Component Analysis is a mathematical procedure that uses an orthogonal transformation to convert a set of values of possibly correlated m variables into a set of k uncorrelated variables called the principal components. And the number of principal components is always less than or equal to the number of original variables. That is, k is less than or equal to m. Now, if it's too messy, it sounds too messy right now, don't worry, it will make sense soon. Now, the thing to note over here is that it works on orthogonal transformations, that is, it will work on square matrices with real values. And another thing to note that in relation to face recognition, uh, the uh, you see over here set of values of possibly correlated m variables. Now these variables are actually going to be the face images in the training set I just showed you before. And these k uncorrelated variables, called the principal components, these are the actually the lower the, the lower dimensional picture I just showed you earlier. That is the eigenfaces. So if I uh, replace variables with images and principal components with eigenface we get a better understandable definition of PC in relation to recognition like this. You see, it's a mathematical procedure that uses this, this, this. Uh, in short, it converts M face images, a data set of M face images into a set of K eigenfaces where eigenface, the number of eigenfaces is always less than the number of original face images in the training set. Once again, we have that training set consisting of M images. When PCA is applied, the transformation results in a set of eigenvectors and where K, that is total number of eigenvectors, is always less than the total number of images in our training set. 